probably a bad idea to start vlogging when I've just put a wash on, but like needs must to be honest. Um, anyways, hello. Um, I'm gonna try and weekly vlog, but who knows at this point how far that will last and go. But currently the situation is I got back from New York on Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Slept till I think like three. Then Barney came over and then went to sleep and woke up at 2 p.m. on Sunday. <laughs> but I couldn't sleep, like I went to sleep at 4 a.m. because I literally could not sleep at all. So a little bit concerning, but today I had to get up at half eight, which was just a shock to the system. That's not even early. But like it is to me at this moment in time because I've been getting up at like 11. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I had to go to London today for a little meeting with my manager. <laughs> Come back and now I feel like I can finally tackle like unpacking, doing washes and just like getting this room sorted because it's it's stressing me out. Like I've literally just hid in my bedroom because then this room is not much better at all. So I've literally been hiding in my bedroom because that's the only room at the minute that this is tidy. So yeah, this is the plan for the moment. Oh my God, my underwear is literally on the... <sighs> no shame, no shame. Everything, I feel like I just have no room anymore. Like I genuinely feel like every single drawer and like wardrobe and everything is just full. And like, I don't understand how, but like, it is just all absolutely jam packed. It's stressing me out. I've got receipts everywhere at the moment, like just all on the floor, because I needed to sort them out yesterday. Everything's just, I'm literally complaining. Like it's literally something serious. It's not like literally shut up, Caitlin, like <laughs> grow up. Uh, but you know, sometimes mess, well, no, mess stresses me out and impacts me, even though I'm the one that has literally caused the mess and stress. Um, that's just my perfume smashing about. <laughs> um, so yeah, also I really need to take off this makeup. It's been on since 9 a.m. Oh, not 9 a.m. I did it on the train. Anyways, I'm gonna crack on with this and I'll let you know how I get on. I just really wanna get it all done. Also, my new hyper fixation of probably the week <laughs> is Moulin Rouge, the musical Broadway soundtrack. I went to see it in New York. Frick my life, if you have not seen that musical, book your tickets right now and go. I was actually, I actually looked today to see if there was any showings in London. There was, but it was at half seven and I kind of wanted to get home anyways because I'm going to London for Barney's birthday from Friday to Monday. He doesn't know yet, but this vlog isn't gonna, it'll, like this vlog will be out before he, when we go, anyways. So yeah, that's, I, I really wanna see it, but I don't wanna take him to see it because I feel like, <laughs> It's a little bit raunchy, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, I don't think I'd feel comfortable. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm bothered, but like at the same time, like even I wouldn't, anyway. Okay, little update. I've managed to put everything away. I've literally just got my makeup to put away. I cannot actually sit in this living room. Like I actually can't, like it's really stressing me out because this, right. This is like a door here. Like it's a window door. It opens like completely. All the windows in this apartment are actually shit. Like, they are so bad. It's actually awful. I can hear everything. Like, I basically might as well have the door open. <laughs> Do you know what? Like, literally, I've stuffed a sock. I've stuffed a sock in my window because there is so much air coming in. Like, I don't know if you can hear it. Why can I literally hear the cars going past? Like, I might as well have... The window opened right now. I opened it and there was literally no difference. I don't understand. I've also even got this like lining thing as well. I've got it in my bedroom on both sides and it kind of made a difference in my bedroom. This window here is the only one in the entire apartment that shuts properly and like doesn't make a noise at all. It's fucking annoying. Okay, a little bit of a dilemma. I really want avocado on toast and this is like actually so so lazy like you actually can't get lazier than this but i can't be asked going to the shop and <laughs> by the way the reason it's lazy is because my apartment block is here the shop is literally across the road like across the road like you could not get a shop close i mean you could get a shop next door anyways beside the point i can't really be bothered it's also raining so i'm like do i really want to like go and outside no not really and like i've been out all day i've been out all day i'm so oh god i sound like such a lazy bitch also look at my eyelashes i used um that l'oreal telescopic mascara 
just the original i think it's the original one you know the one in the gold packaging i used it years ago and i forget like how nice it makes your lashes it's embarrassing to order from the shop when it's across the road it's like i can't do that you know what i mean like that's that's really embarrassing like okay you are the food has arrived. I've also taken off my makeup, so my skin is gonna look absolutely like red and blotch. It's hot time. Um, oh my god, I literally, I've not really done like a full food shop. I just did a few little bits and bobs that like I wanted. Anyways, got a little, oh my god, you're slipping. You're slipping through my fingers all the time. And here's these um, oat milk, not oat milk. Almond milk because I realised that oat milk was breaking me out and since I've not been drinking it, my skin's gone absolutely fine again. What else have we got here? We've got some Diet Cokes. Oh, my camera's going to die. That's fun. Diet Cokes. We've got some sea salad dressing because I'm going to have a salad with my avocado on toast. Well, actually, it's avocado on bagels. I got... Some Yorkshire puddings because I love them with gravy. Like, honestly, it's my comfort uh, food. Sensations. We got two little salads. Got some mini eggs. We got I got two packs of avocados just in case. Yeah, that'll probably work. And then I got some sesame bagels. So that is my haul. Good night. Good evening, girlies. You're probably like, who the hell is this bitch? <laughs> and like, what the hell have you done to your hair? It's a clip in fringe. I'm trying to see if I actually like it before I do anything drastic and then hate it because I'm not too sure. I kind of like it, but I just don't know. Do you know what I mean? And it's all in my eyes and my face and like it's stressing me out. And also this entire apartment is stressing me out. But last night <laughs> I went to sleep at I think probably four in the morning because well, my original plan, I was actually getting really tired after Love Island at like 10. I was like, oh my God, it's slay. I'm going to go to sleep early tonight and wake up a little bit earlier tomorrow. That didn't happen. So I switched off all my lights. I put my fan on. I was actually like going to go to sleep, just doing my little scroll before I go to bed. And then I was like, I want to change my entire beauty room. This was at two in the morning. I um, don't know how we got there to be honest. So then I was ordering stuff at 3 a.m. on Amazon. <laughs> I need help. I need help. Um, but anyways, it's fine. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to be fair. I've ordered a new Hollywood mirror. I've ordered a new chair because my one that I have, it's gorgeous, but it's just too, it's too high. So like, I don't know. And yeah, I'm just kind of bored of it now. And then I've ordered some little organizers and um, a jewelry tray. And oh my God, also I've ordered an Alexa, like the Echo pod things because i've never had an alexa before the only thing that i've had is the google play um one so that's all i've had also my plt package arrived i'm so excited i ordered some outfits for barney's birthday meal which i'm oh if it looks good as it does on the model gorgeous and i also ordered a valentine's outfit and also a new trench coat and some new black heels because i just i love heels recently but i just love a pointy toe so then my toes aren't out because i was gonna get my toes done and i was like mm, no because i am not a person who gets a pedicure very often to be honest i don't like getting them done and also i'm just not bothered because i never have my feet out so yeah like I just don't like my feet, so maybe if I got pedicures, I'd like my feet more, but here we are. But yeah, I got a new brush organiser, because the ones that I have right now are the Ikea plant pots. You know the ones that everyone had, like, years ago? Still got them. Still got them. But they're just a mess, and I don't like them anymore. And then my jewellery is, like, in my jewellery box in my room, but then I also have my filming jewellery. <laughs> that makes sense. Like, it's the jewellery that I'll wear in all my videos. So I wanted a place to put that as well, if that makes any sense. So I ordered a little like jewelry tray and I feel like it's just gonna look a lot more gorgeous. I need to do a full on clear out and I also wanna clear out all my clothes again because uh, there's just too much going on to be honest. Oh God, why does this look really small? Oh, this is a lot smaller than I thought. And it's come cracked. But I can't 
can't be asked returning that. It's little. It's a little crack. Brushes will cover it though. So I mean, mm, I mean, to be fair, I need to clear out my brushes as well. Like I don't need that many brushes that I have. So I feel like this is gonna look better um, than it did anyway. So I mean, yeah. But yeah, today I only woke up at 1 p.m. My alarm went off at 10, and I actually was pretty awake. But I just decided to turn it off and go back to sleep, and then woke up at one not really ideal is it to be honest so <laughs> good morning um i did a new heatless curler method last night apparently you do it like this and it's actually stayed in impressively but i mean i've not talking i've not taken it out yet so i don't know how the curls are gonna go but i'm gonna make myself my little morning coffee um so yeah I really want to use my Nespresso, Nespresso, Nespresso machine more. But basically, it's actually so stupid the way this apartment is laid out sometimes. Like, I've got a plug there right near the sink. Makes no sense. And then I've got another plug there, which would be for, like, well, obviously, like, whatever I use here. And you're probably like, Caitlin, why don't you put your coffee machine there? But, like, this area should have a plug. In my opinion like why does it not have a plug it literally just has like the switches to turn things off like why is there not just one plug socket there just makes no sense like do you know what i mean i feel like that's a really rookie error and like stupid like why would you put one near the sink makes no sense to me so yeah we will be having oh apparently double chins this morning ew anyways um having a little instant coffee but i've been making it better recently actually that's enough water so what you want to do first get your instant coffee and get your mug and do it depends how strong you want it i do like two ish teaspoons of the coffee and get your brown sugar or any sugar that you want and i'm going to do two of that ish maybe like a little bit more Ooh, no that's too much maybe like two and a half of that your milk i'm going to use almond milk and you just want to use a little bit actually no like you can use as much as you want to be honest and then you get one of these bad boys and then you throth it up Ooh. with this so it mixes it all together, but then when you pour the water in, it froths the coffee. So it's more of like a professional coffee. Just went down to the mail room. Have I vlogged today? Yeah, I think I have. Um, these are what the curls come out like. It's very much like giving natural curly hair. I kind of like it to be fair. And I mean, it was comfortable sleeping. Anyways, this is the current update on the stuff in my new beauty room. Well, not new beauty room, like just upgrading it. That's the chair. <laughs> I don't actually know what to do with my old chair. Because, like, there's nothing really wrong with it, but, like, <laughs> where do I put it now? I don't really know, because I don't really want to get rid of it, but then I'm like, am I actually going to use it again? But I just hope this chair is actually good. And it better be, because, like, expensive. Uh, well, actually, to be fair, it wasn't too bad, but anyways. But, yeah, um, I'm waiting for the mirror, but that only comes tomorrow. And, like, with me, I like to do things all in one. Like, I don't want to start it and then, like, you know. But I think today I'm going to clean and clear out the room and also i want to go through my clothes and everything and have a clear out of that and put it all invented and stuff because it's just a whole situation like it's just it's not fun at this point i okay, just got a package from beer bell they do one of my favorite tans the one tans that i love apologies oh my god also i need to bend my flowers it's been like two weeks they're just dying slowly Shut up. Apologies for that. Uh, but yeah, I think it's their new tan. I'm not too sure. Brand new gradual tan. Exciting. You also gave me a discount code, Caitlin10. So this is Be A Bell. By the way, this is not an ad. <gasps> oh my God, it's personalized. Oh, shut up. Wait, shut up. Wait, shut up. Oh my God, what's this? What is it? Oh, I think it's just a bottle of water. And then this is the gradual tan. Oh, I'm actually quite excited about this. So is it just, is it tinted already or? I'm excited about that. So that's the tan. Oh, 
Oh my god, shut up. I love personalized things. Guys, that just makes me happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then a the little straw as well. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I actually might put my Diet Coke in this one because I use my Stanley for my water. The wardrobe clear out has commenced. I'm actually so excited about this one because I feel like now I kind of know what my style is. It's basically just these long sleeve tops with anything else and dogs. <laughs> no, but seriously, like some of these items here, like they're just not me at all. Like what is this stripy jumper? Please, like someone tell me. Don't know what I was thinking. So yeah, I've done this wardrobe now. I need to do one in my room and then I also need to do a few drawers as well. But I feel like I can really, and there's also a bag of stuff basically over there. Um, I got banned from Vinted. Long story. So they were all up and then they never obviously got sold. So um, they've just been sat there. I'm not even kidding for about three months probably. So, gonna get all that up and then also gonna do my room. Just get rid of like everything. So, I feel like everything is just bulging out of drawers as well. And also, I feel like I cling on to things. Current hyperfixation with food Yorkshire puddings and gravy. I oh. <laughs> ah! oh, God, that was actually vile. That was vile. That needs to not ever. Oh, God, above. Also, I put my hair oil in because I need to. Wash my hair tonight. Can I get this sorted? Cause like, what's going on there? That's better. But then like my arm starts to hurt. But anyways, um, tell me why you could literally fry an egg, fry, fry an egg on my head right now. It's not giving very sly, is it? Um, but yeah, needs must because I'm trying to keep the health of my hair. If you don't know, I used to be a bleach blonde. And <laughs> I went brunette and I don't know, I just feel like my hair is still so damaged. I mean, to be fair, I've only just gone brunette like four months ago. No, two months ago. Wait, October, nearly four months ago. But I don't know if it's like the extensions or not. I don't really use heat on my hair and everything, but I mean, I've been trying to grow my hair for five years now no oh no five years has it grown <laughs> no it's not it stayed the same like five years so that's just not not fun okay it's really not good morning girly twirlies i'm actually going to get my nails done today like right now because well one fell off in the shower i didn't actually want to get them done today i wanted to get them done next week so i could get like just a full-on valentine set also sorry little quick thing there's been a leak in my apartment and like, I've reported it, but it just keeps getting worse and like not better. And it's annoying me. Um, because like, how bad does that look? Like the paint is literally peeling off. I need to take another picture of that. I keep taking pictures of like, not the progress, but like, so they can't say that it was me that damaged it. Cause obviously I've paid a deposit and then I want that deposit back at the end of my tenancy. My little outfit of the day. I actually quite like it to be fair. So, oh. Can you see? It's this little, well, I said little, it's freaking huge. It's this trench coat from PLT, but I'm honestly obsessed with it. I feel like it fits really nice. I didn't realize how long it was though. And then I've just got on some Adenola leggings, socks, and then my little Uggs. They're showing up a little bit more beige on camera. They're a little bit more like gray. And then for my top, I've got on just like a little Adenola long sleeve top. But yeah, feeling... Feeling quite fancy this morning. Feeling quite fancy. I actually like it. Um, I'm obsessed with trench coats at the minute. Like since coming back from New York, they are just the best thing ever. Like they keep you warm. They keep you toasty. They're just, they're just bloody great. I was just talking to myself, <laughs> and I wasn't even recording. My camera just turned off. Anyways, um, I was saying I got my nails done. It's in the shade like Diva, and no, the brand is Diva, and then it's called Barely There. But yeah, I was gonna get like burgundy or something, but it's me and um, I can't make up my mind. Basically, this, I know I showed you before, it's this shade, it's just, it was just hard to find a colour. Then I thought, this will go over everything. Anyways, then went to Blank Street afterwards, because we've got one in Manchester now, it's literally in Piccadilly Gardens. Um, I got a Blueberry Matcha. This is the nicest matcha ever, like, 
It just tastes like I'm having a blueberry really muffin. Stunning. I also got a banana bread. They had these vegan, the banana bread's vegan. I'm not vegan anymore, but like, if something's vegan, I'll get that over something that's not. Do you know what I mean? Like, and this has oat milk in it. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm trying not to put like label it and stuff. Obviously I was vegan for two years. Um, I've kind of let that slip now. It would have been three years, but I mean, here we are. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't eat meat or anything, although, a little bit of confession, I have had tuna. Shoot me! <laughs> I just missed it, okay? Anyways, I ordered some bits from Olivia's sales the other day, because in New York, my bee necklace, well, it's not broke, but it just, it's annoying me, and I just don't really like it that much anymore, um, so I wanted to get a different one. And then I also felt bad that it broke, so anyways, um, so I decided to get my own. Anyway, so this is the brand. It's called Olivia's Sales. They also do like the bags that I like as well, like the Butsuga Doops. Um, anyway, this is, I've actually bought this by the way, so it's not an ad or anything. I got a ring because I've been trying to upgrade my ring collection recently and like my ring game i'm just not very good at it but i got this one which i thought was cute for like maybe a middle finger it said that it's one size and you just need to oh my god wait that's actually gorge oh my gosh i actually love that so yeah it's one size and you just have to like separate this so got these pair of earrings like see this is the gold that i like do you know what i mean like this shade feel like it's like completely different but i mean oh my god how cute are they <gasps> oh but then again actually wait what shade of gold is this oh they're all different <laughs> oh my god i love it already ah! oh! i wanted one of the like what they call like bubble letter um necklaces <sighs> no because oh my god no i actually love it so much i'm so happy with this oh i hope the chain's not too long oh no god girls it is gorge there was loads of different ones like i was trying to find one of these and they all seem to just be really big ones and i didn't want a big one because like that's not me i don't think there's anything more that hits the spot than avocado on toast or avocado on a bagel like it just it just always hits spot always 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 anyways now i'm heating up my banana bread from black street and i hope it's good because the matcha was real good and then we need to tackle this i did take all the pictures for selling my clothes in the end i gave up trying them on and i just took pictures of them because i was like you know what i, I can't be bothered okay i just can't so i need to I need to do a lot. I also need to tan tonight because the colour of me right now. Yes, it's my natural skin tone. Yes, I should probably embrace it. But I don't want to embrace it, okay? I don't want to embrace this. This this is not me. This is not who I am. And this is not who I am embodying. Anyways. Okay, I've added a little bit of butter to it because, I don't know, like I feel like when I heat things up, like sometimes they can be a little bit dry and like, yeah, but the chocolate has melted i actually don't know how this is gonna be i do like banana bread but i feel like sometimes it can be a bit dry oh it's hot this is gonna sound disgusting but i feel like i should have probably cleaned my air fryer it tastes a bit like a yorkshire pudding mm. oh no I'm getting the good bits now. I feel like when, like, ever I move out of here, I feel like I don't want this anymore. Or I feel like I want it but with doors or something. I'm just... I'm not vibing with it anymore. I feel like every single, like, beauty guru or whatever has the IKEA Packs units. And don't get me wrong, I freaking love the IKEA Packs unit. I freaking love the IKEA Packs units. I think they are so handy, so ideal so easy to build and everything but i just don't really enjoy how they look anymore i feel like i'd prefer it if it was just like a full wardrobe but i mean like i don't really want to deal with that now like 
you know what I mean? Like I've not got long on my tenancy here left. So I don't want to do loads of things like last minute, there's literally no point. This little station was just because, well like I was sick of my old one, but I can take this anywhere with me, you know what I mean? Like this mirror. I can't even cope with the size of it. Like I'm so glad that I opted for the biggest size that they do because I feel like it's really made a difference and like I can literally just see everything. I am genuinely so happy and like even, let me just show you, even like my little turny thing here. I don't really know what to put on it yet, but I feel like it's really handy for like my eyelash curlers and like my powder puffs and stuff and like sponges. And then I've also put on like some of my skincare that I like will reach for and stuff. But yeah, I've got some little blank spaces, but I feel like for now, it just, it looks cute. It is literally massive like i don't even think you can tell how big it is it is humongous but yeah and then i got my alexa which I'm very excited about and then this is my little jewelry what do you even call it dish i i'm obsessed with it and then the brushes actually all fit in so very happy about that i feel like this just looks so much better so much more clean and this chair by the way oh, it's gorgeous it's gorgeous everything just fits better like it's a smaller chair, which I'm just so happy about because I feel like it just, it's not as high up. Like my last one was high up and I just, it was so irritating. But yeah, it just, it's so pretty. I also tried the Olipop drink. I'm so, I'm disappointed, not gonna lie. Like it's not really like nice drink. I don't know if it's like the flavor of it, but I thought these were gonna be so good. And it's kind of making me feel a little bit sick. I don't know, like it's, I don't know, I'd rather have a Diet Coke. I feel like it's because it's not fizzy. I feel like if it was fizzy, it would be a little bit better because it's called a soda. So like, why is a soda not fizzy? I don't get it. It tastes like it's meant to be fizzy, but it's not. So I'm like so confused. It says bubbly soda. I feel like it tastes a lot different and I'm not sure why. I feel like it it should taste different. I don't know if it's because I got it a week ago and it's just been in the fridge and like it's been from New York to Manchester. Has that had any impact? I don't really know. I actually need a fake tan because your girl, actually, I don't look that pale, but like I am. I've got no fake tan on it. I've not fake tanned in, I want to say like literally two weeks. I, I don't feel like myself, like honestly. It's, don't look at me, don't look at me. But I think I'm gonna try a new tan because I have this Be Bold tan, but it's in ultra dark. I've not used an ultra dark tan in, I'm not even kidding, probably four years. Oh my, oh my God, four years, yeah. I'm not using it since 2020, when I used to be obsessed, when I used to be obsessed with filter by Molly May, ultra dark. So I'm excited, but also really scared because like, I actually have plans this weekend. Like, obviously, I'm taking Barney to London, so <laughs> I'm scared. But I feel like I love Be Bold's like instant tan and their face tan I've tried. So I feel like I have high hopes. I have high hopes. And I've seen a lot of people talking about it then saying it's really good. So I am nervous. <sighs> but I mean, this is the before. I will come back later on. I'm probably scare you. Probably look like Shrek or an umplumber. <laughs> Who knows? Hey. Apologies, I didn't show you the tan after I'd done it. I was in the middle of watching Love Island as well whilst I was tanning, so it was just a whole situation. It's not really giving like super dark, is it? I don't really know. Oh no, I've not missed a patch, have I? Um, it's giving tan, but I feel like it's not super dark as in like tans that I've tried before that are super dark, but. I don't know, I mean, it's only been on for a few hours, so. To be fair, actually, no, it's literally only been on. Not even two hours, so. I mean, we'll see. I'm watching Olivia Atwood series. Do you know the, like, boobs bum one? I hate graphic stuff so much, but if anything were to put you off, in fact, maybe it would, maybe for some people it would make you want to get these things done, but for me, this is put, put putting me off not that i was gonna get anything done but like obviously i've always been insecure of my bibs not really anymore i'm kind of like whatever i feel like they do fit my body like i'm not 
super skinny but I'll like you know what I mean I feel like they fit my smaller frame not that I'm tiny not that I'm tiny but um you know what I mean like I'm, I'm learning to love them they're a handful like myself <laughs> good morning so I washed off my tongue this morning I feel like it's not really it's not given super dark but like I'm also kind of not mad at the same time so I feel like would I really want to be super dark and have like tan hands and stuff you know what I mean like I feel like the tan on my hands see it doesn't look like that in person in person like my hands actually look fine but on camera for some reason like it's not in person like that is fine anyways made myself a little coffee this morning still on my instant coffee grind but I've been frothing the coffee sugar and milk together so it's a little bit more fancy dancy um but yeah it's already half 11. <laughs> I need to be fair, I don't really have that much to do. I need to pack, but I also need to iron all my stuff. Um, and then like take out the rubbish and everything. Washed off all the time, I've moisturised and everything. So that's done and then I need to pack my stuff. And then I need to get an Uber to Barney's later on. But yeah, our trip, to be fair, our train's only at half seven. But he only finished, he's only going to get home from work. And then he also has the dentist today. <laughs> Train strikes, honestly, are a bit of pain in the ass. Um, because we were only supposed to be going tomorrow, Saturday. But it's fine, you know. Well, at least like we're already there. I actually love packing so much. I hate unpacking though, like unpacking. I hate it because like why do I suddenly have no room for any of these clothes? Like, make it make sense. But yeah, I need to iron my outfit and everything. I hope it fits. I've still not tried it all. My mum keeps messaging me being like, Have you tried on your outfit yet? And I'm like, No, I haven't because I don't really try on outfits until like the day of, which is probably so freaking stupid. Like, order an outfit, try it on, and see if it like works, you know what I mean? But like, sometimes I know that it's gonna look fine. Like, this one, I kind of know it's gonna look fine. So I'm like, I don't really need to try it on because like, I can know. <laughs> but like, I should, you know what I mean? Like, I, sh I should try it on, but. I'm like, no, like, it's it's fine. I think I've pretty much packed now, to be fair. I feel like I've got, like, so much room in this suitcase, but I've just, I don't know. I'm trying to pack as, like, light as I can, but also thinking about, like, what outfits I want to wear. Um, but, yeah, I've pretty much all packed. What time is it? Alexa, what time is it? It's 1.37pm. Okay, so nearly 2 o'clock. I'm going to get something to eat now. Um, I'm gonna, I've still not started editing this YouTube video, but I feel like I just want to get as much done as possible. I think I'm just gonna leave about maybe like half five or something. So I've got quite a while to be fair. Um, yeah, I've not really packed that much, but I just don't know what to pack. I might actually pack my dressing gown and a pair of slippers because I've got the room too. But then also like, I do kind of want to do a little bit of shopping whilst I'm in London maybe um so i do want to leave like some space as well but literally like do you know like this bit here i don't want it to like all like obviously i'm zipping it up but i don't want it to all be falling about so i feel like if i put like just like this dressing gown in it might like prevent it a little bit i need to put my deodorant in as well and a perfume i've literally forgot to do that okay perfume i think i'm gonna take these two these two are my favorites i really need to get top-ups of them both to be well maybe not the i need to get top of this one because it's nearly run out it's the parrot prada paradox perfume oh, smells you know oh, just insane and then this one is the uh perfume de Mali athalia but i don't know how much is left in that so i literally could not tell you that one's a very expensive perfume i mean they're both expensive perfumes but this one is <laughs> basically like the cost of a bag like let's be real now like why is it that expensive but hey ho here we go sorry but literally no one ever speaks to me ever again because i am a lululemon girly now like i'm sorry i understand the obsession i understand why everyone likes this like this is a dreamy jacket yes it's very expensive okay it's it's basically an investment like it's an investment but i mean oh oh my gosh I thought my neck was caught in it then. It's so comfy. Like, it's actually so comfy, but it's so thick as well. And I feel like, I mean, you're paying good quality. I mean, it is very expensive. Like, do not get me wrong. But this is, like, my favourite type of, like, gym wear jacket. And it's just good. I don't really understand this. Like, is that just the design? <laughs> because, like, what is the purpose of that? And then I think I'm just going to wear my trench coat over the top. Um, and then I'm going to wear 
just my Uggs that Barney got me. But I'm actually going to get an Uber to Barney soon because he's actually finished work earlier and gone to the dentist earlier. I think. Anyway, unless I've just got my times mixed up. Alexa, what time is it? Alexa? Alexa? What time is it? It's 4.56pm. Yes, it's nearly 5pm now, so I just want to get going and just be there because I don't know what the traffic's going to be like. I'm aiming to get there for 6, which I think I definitely will. Good morning. It is now Tuesday. <laughs> oh, sorry. I did not vlog a single thing in London. To be fair, I didn't really like to take any pictures or anything either. Like, I literally just was enjoying it with my boyfriend. I feel like... I don't know, it was just like a really nice weekend. We was like shopping and everything. Well, he was shopping. Well, to be fair, actually I got this Adenola jumper, but I've just realized now it's not the actual one that I wanted because I wanted the one on the, sh um, wanted to buy the one and it had, I think it's white writing. And I think it's a little bit more of like a thinner jumper, but it's actually a lot nicer, I think. Well, not a lot nicer, but like, I think the other one would have maybe itched me a little bit too much. Whereas this is just, I love it. I also feel like Adenola is really popping off at the minute. Like, they've got so many nice pieces on their website, but a lot of it is sold out, which is annoying. So, I was going to do, like, a little haul, even though I've literally gone through all my clothes to get rid of them to declutter. But I feel like I'm really just in my basic minimal clothing era. Like, not even an era. Like, I want it to stay. Like, this, like, these type of things, like, just literal basic things. I don't care about my basic bitch, okay? Like, I don't care because it just looks good okay like it looks it looks good i'm gonna leave this vlog here for the week it's a very long one i hope you enjoyed it i mean i didn't really show you much that i was doing but anyways that's that's just my babe okay um uh, but yeah i love you a lot and i will see you in the next one bye